guys, this is Haunted School back again with another store walkthrough. This is the second one of the year on my channel and it is finally the range. We have finally got a small little selection out here and um, there isn't anything too much like an animatronics. I know they'll, they'll be starting to add it over the next couple of weeks but uh, regardless it's nice to see some things and uh, also we've got boxes out for um, other items to go up which is also very exciting. As you can see we've got a nice little display here with all the inflatables on the top shelf. So without any further ado let's head on into what they have for sale. So first off you've got these giant pumpkins. These guys actually do have quite a lot of weight to them and they feel ceramic. Those are 19 99 You've got this spooky projector here, which I think they have every year. $9.99, not a bad price. And at the bottom here, you've got these nice little garden decorations. You've got them in two different variations. You've got a pumpkin one and a skeleton one, it looks like. And uh, they have the tags. They actually went for a new theme on the tags before, which is um, something new and nice. $29.99 each for them, and they feel very good quality as well. You've got these garden stakes up here as well, looking really nice. They're very decorative for sure. And on the top shelf, you do have uh, this Reaper inflatable, it's $59.99. It's actually really big as well, surprisingly. I did have this last year, I'm glad it's came back. And for $69.99, you do have this giant jack-in-the-box inflatable. From what I know, this is supposed to move, but I don't think the motion was turned on in stores. It also does make sounds if you do press the button on the side, and it's got a little strobe light inside, which is pretty cool. So if you can't afford the Morris Costumes Jack in the Box animatronic, that may be a good alternative. You've got this sparkle LED chain for $2.99. You've got this gonk, which I'll show you them in a minute. I do have a couple more of them. And you've got this bunch of Halloween characters inflatable. This is actually really big. And uh, there's also one at the end here, this pumpkin stack. Look looking really nice. Got a cat sleeping on top of the head. $39.99 for that, which is quite a good deal for that little inflatable. Got some LED tea light candles here for $1.49, very good price, uh, I think it's a pack of four it says. Uh, you got this box here for some Halloween lanterns, but there actually isn't any in yet, but I'm sure I'll be stocking them soon. Got some pumpkin tea light holders, I actually do quite like these, um, you can stick some of them candles in them. In them um. And right here you got the Halloween gonks, which are $7.99, they look quite nice actually. And uh, right here you got these really cool candelabras for $10.99. Uh, I did actually pick these up and they have got quite a lot of weight to them. They're really nice, nicely detailed as well. Uh, you got these uh, signs for $3.99, which are ones that you customise up yourself. You've got these checkered pumpkins. And then uh, going down here, you got this uh, Make Your Own Halloween Gong for $5.99. It seems like these are a big thing this year um, from ha what they've got so far. You've got this Create Your Own Halloween Mug for $2.99. And uh, we've got a couple more little decorations like this uh, little cauldron on a stand. It's just a nice little bit um, that can like bring up your witch theme that you do. Got this create your own pumpkin as well. Then the spider webbing for one forty nine, which isn't a bad price. It says the spiders are included, by the way. And then uh, you've got these uh, kind of like other customization things you can do. Um, kind of got this bigger gun right here, which is made of ceramic, twenty four ninety nine. Not a bad price, it's actually quite big as well. And right here, one of my favourite things are these uh, skeletons of the uh, welcome sign. I might actually get one of these when I go back. And that is $19.99, which is a really good price. That's when we make our way over, you got these uh, kind of like stickers. As you can see, they come in a, a variety of different designs. And right here, we've got some lights for $2.69, which are quite nice. And we've got uh, different types right here, like these ones of the multicolor multi skeletons, range from $3.99, $2.99 and so forth. And yeah, I do like the boxes on them as well. I really am glad that they changed up this year. Got some black LED candles, which are a good price. Uh, they look really cool too. We've got, and finally, we've got the big talk this year, the neon lights, the creepy real one and the happy Halloween one. They are quite a bit of a hefty price tag though, um, twenty seven ninety nine. Um, that's the only thing reason I didn't get one. Um, but I will, probably will make me mind up. You've got these Halloween wreaths for thirty ninety nine, and yeah, some caution tape which I actually did pick up because um, they honestly always sell out before Halloween. So I'm glad I got some in for the time being. Um, got some table covers here. Basically, all this is just all uh, tableware stuff right here. 
Uh, here are all the boxes for the inflatables. So you've got Pumpkin Stack, $39.99. All the Jack and boxes, $69.99. And also the same price for Reaper Arch, which looks really cool, but they didn't have one set up. And it's $59.99 for the um, Reaper Tombstone inflatable, which I have up. I really like that one. And uh, they got these uh, doormats, which we have pretty much every year. And uh, they do make a little sound when you press the button. They do have the little charming button right here. Yeah, they're quite cool. Um, but yeah, that's all of them. And uh, below you kind of got this like mummified dog for nineteen ninety nine, which is really cool. I like them. And right here we got some skeletons that kind of like got um, like classic outfits on that have these clocks on. I didn't think they moved by the way. I did have a look. Um, it's kind of for more of a decorative thing, I think. And uh, they are they are twenty two ninety nine, which is a good price. Is it a good quality and quite big? And uh, as we move over to here, even more stuff. This is mainly just all decorations here, uh, this video is. Sadly, no animatronics, as I mentioned at the start of the video, but um, we've got these spiders, all really good prices. Uh, you've got these really nice glasses um, that kind of say uh, different things on them. Uh, 149 and uh, got these uh, cups uh, with straws in. Quite like the metallic look these have. Uh, got Creep It Real or trick or drink which is uh, quite a nice little catchphrase for them got these uh, skull uh, cups which um, you got lighter ones and you got darker ones of them got some halloween balls basically all your halloween needs right here for your trick or treating and everything um well, after all who doesn't need them at a, a very affordable price too you got some halloween craft tubs for if you want to do a bit of uh, making yourself around this time of year it's always good um, to do that around Halloween, uh, it comes with quite a few bits they do, and uh, right here you've got some other little bits of tableware stuff, some bunting, and uh, yeah, as you move down, even more stuff. Um, it does range from uh, around under like two pounds though, so uh, you can't really go wrong with this stuff. And as we move across, kind of got these really nice uh, ribbons. Which you can uh, use for your, for your own little uh, sort of projects for really cheap price as well. The uh, cobwebs right there. Um, do like the little boxes that come in. And uh, around here, got some basically like colouring books and uh, stuff for painting and stuff like that. Uh, $3.99 for each of them. And uh, that's really good. And as we move all the way down, kind of got this like netting. Um, which I assume can be used for tablecloths um, or um, whatever you want and around here we've got this uh, create your own halloween house which they have had for a couple of years right now um, that must be quite a popular one and around here this is more of a tinsel stuff like they got these uh, tinsel booth signs which I actually do really like and um, they are at 349 those are new for this year uh, they are um, very colourful and shiny as well, and got these Halloween reefs. Uh, they also look, look nice. They also got they got these little. Uh, this one's kind of covered in spiders, um, but these kind of have like little characters on them. Got these cobwebs, which I've had for a couple of years right now. They are great. Two forty nine, um, really good price. And uh, got kind of got this black reef, which I really like the um, the contrast between the black and the pink spiders on that one. And uh, down here we kind of got like these uh, little, I'm not sure what you call them, but they're kind of like little flower picks that you like put on your table or um, even in your hair maybe. Um, but down here we've got this really nice tinsel actually, I don't think they've actually went this colourful um, in past years. We've got this one with, with all orange, purple and black, and you kind of got this one with just purple and black. Um, they usually do one with just black and silver, but um, I don't think, don't think they have that one. Um, but they are really cheap and very and affordable, which seems to be what range is entirely going for this year. So that is about it for the range's store walkthrough part one. I thought this would be a good one to do, um, just so uh, when they actually do release all the animatronics, I can do a full dedicated video to go in over all of them, rather than uh, going all over all the decorative stuff as well. I can go over all that in this video. But overall, a bit of a funny year for the range, to be honest. Um, like, they haven't um, got as much animatronics as they did over the years. I think they're kind of just starting to take the trend of what 
I've seen other stores like Asda and B&M are going for with more decorations rather than uh, big, big um, animated stuff. Which is a bit disappointing, but they have leaked some uh, cool items like that hanging vampire, which I can't wait to see how it looks. Um, I think um, the, some of my favourite things from the uh, store walkthrough were the neon lights and the giant inflatables. Uh, those are always uh, key things in the Rangers lineup, especially that jack in the box. I quite like that, it's really impressive. I think for what they're worth, they're quite reasonably priced as well. Uh, besides the neon lights, they could probably go down a notch, but. Yeah, um, thanks for watching this video then. Uh, if you enjoyed, please give us a comment down below and tell me what you think of the range this year. And also, if you can uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel, I'll really appreciate that. Until the next video, this is your guide for all things spooky.